Hey there, well today we're gonna to be having a look at a 24 gigahertz millimeter wave presence sensor from Miros. And this one connects over matter. So let's have a look. So the smart presence sensor MS600 from Miros combines three different sensors into one. We've got a passive infrared, which is really good for fast detection of movement. Then we've got the millimeter wave radar, which is really good for that long-term sort of presence. And then we have a light sensor as well within here. Now this is designed to connect via matter over Wi-Fi. Having a look at the specifications, it's a five volt, one amp device and the charger is supplied. Um, it's working on the 24 gigahertz radar. It's got a type C power support and then it's got the single reset button and a status, multicolored status LED. Dimensions are roughly 75 by 34 by 38 millimeters. It's got an internal antenna. It's operating on the Wi-Fi IEEE 802.11 frequency. So having a close look at the sensor, you can see we've got our passive infrared dome over here. We've got our status LED, and I'm assuming this bit over here is the millimeter wave sensor. On the side here, we've got our matter pairing code. And then on the back, basically you pull up this little piece over here and this then flips around. So in there you would connect your uh, cable for connecting up your five volt power supply with the USB-C. And then you've got your pairing button over here. Now this is the base, so you can swivel this base around and you can effectively stand it on the base like this or stick it up against the wall and you've got a reasonable amount of adjustment it's a nice feeling in plastic injection molded case along with that mine came with a new zealand australian plug which was really great and then a reasonably short little cable here for powering it and then it has this little cap that can fit on the underside of the PER, PIR. It clips in there, and apparently this is for um, stopping false alarms from pets. Now, I'm not sure how much this does for the actual infrared. I mean, for the it'll work for the infrared, but I'm not sure how much this would do for the millimeter wave. Setup is really straightforward. We open up the Miros app, and then we select add a device, select the MS600. Once it goes on, you need to see that you've got a green and orange flashing light. And then you're going to use a peering code via HomeKit, scan the QR code. Now that the device is added to Miros, we can go in here and we can look at some of the settings. So currently you see it's not detecting any motion and we can also see there the light levels. If we click the three little sandwich bars up at the top here, we can see here that we've got the device name, the room that it's in. We can select whether that LED is gonna come up or not. We have access to the user manual. We can go into the device settings over here. So we can say, let us set the range. So this is the motion range for the actual millimeter wave. And then from six to 12 here, this will be detected only via your PIR sensor. So we can save that. Um, we can also set our cooldown time. Now the minimum, even though I can go down to one second, it always defaults back to 15. So it seems as if 15 minutes or 15 seconds is the minimum cooldown period. Um, it's also got a couple of modes here. So you can select either biological detection only mode or security mode. This basically says if it's going to detect, um, effectively it stops for false alarms by using a detection which will actually only detect human presence and not things like robot vacuums. If we go back over here, we also have things called the space learning. And here you can go and you can select and it will start learning about your environment and basically cutting out false alarms by mapping out the detection. We can go into the alerts and we can say we want to give alerts for presence, absence, illuminance levels, etc. So testing this out as I walk into the kitchen where the sensor is installed, 
and we wait to see how quickly it there we go it appears so the as you can see there it's picking it up pretty fast by using the PIR sensor and then as we start moving further away from the device you'll see that it does take a little bit longer to actually start measuring the change in distance on the millimeter wave so I'm still waiting for change still telling me one meter there let's just give it a little bit more time there we'll move back a little bit closer again there it did change to 1.4 now it's back to 1.1 so yeah that actual measurement distance measurement is obviously a little bit slower but it does seem to be working so this device currently doesn't have mat appearing directly with home assistant you need to do it via home kit as one of the options so the next thing you do is you go into home kit you open the device up go into the device there it is over there scroll down to the bottom turn on the pairing mode and then you copy this code and go and add this to home assistant so with the matter integration into home assistant the only things that we get shared across is your illuminance level and then your presence so it will either only say whether it's detected or not detected it won't bring in anything like the distance away that you are from the sensor or anything like that so to give you my overall feelings about this device the first time that i did connect it up to the Miros app via Matter and then pair it through to Home Assistant. For some reason or other, after a day, it disappeared and went undetected. Um, I then had to repair the device. Um, since then, it seems to have been fine. Um, other than that, with regards to the actual device itself, I find that by using Matter, you are reasonably limited from the amount of control. Obviously, Matter just brings through whether you're detecting or not. It doesn't allow you to have any of those controls. For example, like with the um, the Apollo sensors, for example, where you've got all those different settings that you can adjust and you can see the distances and everything pulling through to Home Assistant. So Matter has got limitations at the moment with how much information it brings in, but also the level of control that it gives you. So overall, device seems to be nicely built. I do like the fact that it has a power brick included with it i quite like the fact that it's got both the pir and the millimeter wave sensor all in one it does allow for a very quick immediate detection so that's really nice so anyway that's all for me now if you've played with this device or any other millimeter wave presence sensors please let me know what your comments are um, about this and it's great to hear your feedback well, that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.